Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another video for y'all. Just wanna chat with y'all and give y'all some motivation. Like, it's, we're already in the month of July and school starts back next month. And I just wanna give y'all some motivation to help y'all out. What I wanna talk with y'all about is grades, the grading system, the letter A, the letter B, the letter C, the letter D, the letter F. I, I just want to give y'all some motivation. Now, if you're the type of, you know, like if you're the type of student that, that gets like straight A's in school and you take it seriously, you do what you got to do to keep your grades up, good job. Keep up the good work. I was a straight A student myself in high school, senior year. But then if you a student that has trouble in certain subjects, like you don't like school at all when you having trouble and you get like C's and B's and maybe some D's, I mean, you're not a failure. You're not a failure. I mean, good job. Now, I'm not saying that like you should just be lazy and not do your work and just fail. Like I be telling y'all, absolutely not. You still got to try your best. But what I want to discuss with y'all is that when it comes down to the grading system, the letter A, the letter B, the letter C, the letter D, the letter F does not mean anything. Whatever it is that you want to be, that's up to God, that's up to you, and that's up to your imagination. Whatever it is that you want to do with your life, that's up to God, that's up to you, and that's up to your imagination. Yeah, and like when it comes down to the school system, like if a student gets an A, you know, it it makes the student feel like they're like they're worth it, like like they're this, they're that, that the student is on top of their A game. But when it comes down to like a student failing, getting an F, when it comes down to a student flunking, it makes them feel like they're a failure. It makes them feel that that they're not going to succeed. The letter F does not mean anything. Now, again, like when it comes down to you, to you, like as a student getting F's and you're just being lazy, you're not trying. You have to still try. You have to still do the best that you can do. You know, what I mean, because you, you may be the type of student that get F's, but you can make improvements. You can improve those grades. You can get you can get C's and you can get B's. But but you see, like they always say, you got to be willing to apply yourself. But at the end of the day, them grades, you're not a failure. And, and, and some and some I'm pretty sure some students and some parents, you know, probably already know that, like that when it comes down to getting elves, when it comes down to getting D's, that they're not a failure. Yeah, you're not a failure. Them D's, them elves do not mean anything. They don't mean anything. I mean, whatever it is that you want to do with your life, go, do it. Go for it. Go for it. If you want to be, if you want to be an entertainer, if you have a passion to become something bigger and better, go for it. You know, if you if you a student that doesn't want to grow up to be an employee, that doesn't want to grow up to be a nine to five worker, be consistent in whatever it is that you do. Because when it comes down to grades, the letter A, the letter B, the letter C, the letter D, the letter F does not mean anything. I just wanted to give y'all some motivations because I know I've discussed this like a number of times about about like a student like not being like a failure in school. And sometimes, you know, like a student may start to feel bad for like being different, for not liking school, for not like having a passion for school, the student may feel that they may be less intelligent. Yeah, I mean, school, because like going to school for like 12 years, even 16 years, even if you go to go to college, like a lot of people be saying that college is a scam because of all that money that goes into college. And remember, like what I said about college, time is money. Like if you go to college and you know you're going to be wasting your time and you know, like you're going to be wasting your parents money, time is money. So, yeah, I mean, 
But yeah, I just want to give y'all some motivation because I know like with school starting back next month, I know some teenagers may be anxious and some of them may be a little anxious because they don't really know what's all going to go down this school year. Like I said before, with all the stuff, if, if it keeps on happening with the school shootings and everything, the teachers being burned out, homeschooling is going to end up being the new normal unfortunately but yeah but yeah i mean yeah like yeah like if you're the type of student that 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 don't really get good grades you get average grades they don't make you a failure even if you get bad grades that don't make you a failure because it's like with a lot of the stuff you learn in history and social studies, just like what they tell you about Abraham Lincoln. They even put it in books where they talk about where they where they claim that Abraham Lincoln wanted to end slavery. Abraham Lincoln was a was a racist at the end of the day. I mean, yes, slavery ended in 1865, but he didn't really want to end slavery I mean, the 16th president of the United States of America, the dude was a racist. He believed that a black, that a black person, he believed that an African-American couldn't really be a leader. So, yeah, like, like, don't, don't let these grading systems make you feel worthless. You're worth it. There's a reason why you were born. There's a reason why you were created. So, yeah, I, I just wanted to share this video with y'all because, I mean, like, and that's the thing about it. Like, y you know, you may be the type of student because there's students that may that may be considered like not all that intelligent in school. But when it comes down to them being out of school, being out in the world, they're they're one of the most intelligent people. But you see with the school system, it's different they may want the student to learn stuff this way. They may want the student to learn stuff that way. You know, there may be a different way the student may learn, but you see the school system just... Because cause I, cause I also know, like, the teacher may tell the parents that they don't know this, they don't know that, they don't know why the student has trouble in this, they don't know, you know, all types of stuff with, with the school system. But yo, you're you're gifted. You're gifted. The letter A, the letter B, the letter C, the letter D, the letter F does not mean anything. At the end of the day, no matter what, you are gifted. But that's the sad thing about it. It seems like with the with the school system, you know, they're 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 not really like like willing to like bring the gift out of you. So yeah, I, I just wanted to share this video with y'all, chat with y'all. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share. And my new song, Most Hated Race Freestyle, it's on my YouTube channel and it's also on my SoundCloud. Follow me on SoundCloud at Wally G. Let's run it up. Let's blow it up. Love y'all.